Hey everybody, Brent Johnson here at Heartfield Automation. All right, this week I'm going to continue our Acapulse track programming. We're going to hop into this where we're going to start naming some of the segments, configuring some of the segments and stuff like that. So let's hop into it. Here's where we left off last week. I moved the power supplies around a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to actually go into the help folder real quickly. I want to show you just a, an image here. This image we're going to be doing is we're going to be copying these names for each one of these track segments and we're going to go ahead and do that right now so go back to here so this is going to be our first segment and we're going to click on open module details and then we're going to double click in the area there and we're going to name this aa underscore seg underscore a underscore one we're going to change this to two right here and you can just see that we did that and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to name each one of these and do that exact naming structure exactly how we're doing. So we're going to go ahead and do it for the next one. Open in the module details. AA underscore seg underscore A underscore two. And we'll change this to three. Next, we're going to connect these to the PowerLink network. As you can see right here, they're unconnected. So we're going to go to this first PowerLink hub. We're going to left click and drag it over to the middle one right over here. And then you always, we're, there's two little dots right next to each one. We're going to grab another one and go to the closest dot and connect that. Then go to the furthest dot and connect to the closest dot and so on and so forth up until we get to this next segment here. You can't go all the way around and I'll show you why here in a second. Then we're gonna go from our second hub to the middle one on this side, connect there and we're gonna do the same thing. We're not going to connect those two. You can't. You ha cannot have a closed loop here. All right. We can see that we're we're all connected up. It's all on our power link network now. It moved up. It moved from unconnected. I'm going to go ahead and hit save all. So next we're going to go in here and we're going to go ahead and right click on the first segment in our loop here or in our oval and we're going to hit configuration and we're going to go down to segment reference. We're just going to name it and this time it's going to be seg underscore a underscore one just like that and then I'm going to save all. Close out of there and we'll just go down the line and do that Hit configuration and go to segment reference, seg underscore a underscore two, enter, save all, close out of there, go to three. Okay, I just hit close all. It's not happy with me right now, but that's okay. Okay, I think we're good on that. Okay, we're gonna go back to, so let's just close this, hit save all, close that. We're gonna go back to the configuration of this controller add a few more things as before we stopped at the timing and resources 
Now we're going to go down to file devices. We're going to create a new file device name and we're going to name it SVG, SVG data, enter. And then the path, we're going to have it go C colon backslash T-R-A-K backslash. Go ahead and hit enter. And then we're going to have to go to our C drive under our temp on our temp drive, a C drive, and create a folder just like that. I already did that, as you can see here. I'll just go and I created track right there. And then we're going to go to our FTP server. And we're going to make sure it's on. We're going to increase that size. We're going to put the plus sign, and we're going to hit the plus sign under users. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a username. And we're going to just name the username user, all lowercase. And then the password, we're going to do user as well. And it automatically scrambles it up and makes its own password. Go ahead and hit save all. That's all I want to show you this week. Next week, we'll actually add some programs in the logical view. All right, thanks so much for watching this week. I hope it was informative. I hope you learned a little bit more about how to program this Acapulco track. Next week, we'll get into putting in actual programs into the project, and hopefully we'll get some shuttles moving. It's going to be really exciting, so I hope you tune in next week. If you like these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. I've got a lot of other great content that's related to the B&R product line on this channel. It may be useful for any future projects. I hope you have a great, great week and please stay safe.